Hey, hello, um, Big Kang. Can you introduce yourself to the audience? Okay, uh, hello, my name is Big Kang. I am uh, I, uh, I'm around 16 and 17 years old. I'm, uh, I'm uh, studying at um, Hanwood High School and uh, I'm studying in uh, grade 11. And I'm now I'm li I'm now living in the uh, um uh, Van Quan Hado Hano in Vietnam. Yeah. Right then. So um, we're going to start off with part one, talking about food. Um, what kind of restaurants do you like to eat at? Like what kind of restaurants? Like um, uh, my favorite kind of restaurant, and I usually uh, go to it is uh like family restaurant mm -hmm. or um like uh, Lotteria or KFC restaurant that, that have a uh, chow food or fast food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So that brings me on to my next question then. Um what kind of fast food do you like? What's your favorite is this so Lotteria or what else? Yeah, that's uh that's uh, a lot of uh, fast food I really like like um French fries, uh fried chicken, um ice cream or uh, spaghetti, pasta, pasta yes. Okay. okay. And um, okay. Which fast food places do you not like? Like which restaurants do you not like? No, I I nearly like all of them. You like all of them. Yeah, they're okay, all good. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you prefer to have uh fast food or Vietnamese food as a choice? I think uh, I think it's Vietnamese food. Okay. And um, why would you choose uh Vietnamese food instead? Of yeah, because uh, because I think I I really like the I really like the food in Vietnam, like for bánh mì or uh, uh for bánh mì and uh, uh bún đậu bằm tôm and something like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, how about fruits and vegetables? Do you eat fruits and vegetables? No, I'm not. No, how come? Okay, like why? Why don't you eat fruits or vegetables? Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, I think it's not tasty. Not tasty. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And um, what kind of food do you eat at home with your family? Uh, I usually eat um, a uh, rice, spinach. Or morning glory. Yes, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and some fish, some uh, cow or egg. Nice. Okay, yeah. Cool. And um, who does the cooking in your family? Uh, usually my mom. Okay. Yeah. And do you like her cooking? No, I'm really suck at it. <laughs> Is she a good cook? Yes, yeah, she's really cook, she's good, good good at cooking. Okay. Yeah. Um, where do your family buy their food from? Do they go to a supermarket or like a traditional market? Yeah, uh, they uh, they usually buy food uh, in uh, a s small or big uh, vin market. Okay, and um, why do they go to vin and not um, uh, and not like a different place? Um, I th I think uh, uh, I think it's because uh, in a vin mart you can find a lot of fresh food and and clean. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> And uh, what did you, what did you eat this morning? What did you have for breakfast? Uh, I usually have a uh, pan or bánh mì. Okay, and how about today? What did you eat before coming here? What did you eat before coming to this class? <laughs> I eat uh, two sausages, uh, one egg, and uh, one uh, ha ha noodle. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, the very nutritious. Okay. okay. And um, the last one I've got on here. Do you think you're a good cook? Uh, like, like I was said, I'm really suck at cooking. Okay, why do you think that you suck at cooking? Yeah, because um, uh, because I uh, just I just can do some simple uh dishes like uh, fried sausages, egg, or uh, <laughs> just boiling noodles. Okay, so basic <laughs> stuff. Okay, right then. So just let me get my um. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to read this question to you. If you can take this piece of paper. And what I would like you to do is, um, is describe a friend of yours. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Um, just maybe just put it on. Just put it on for now. Just walk through this. Okay. So um, yeah, you want to have about one minute now, and I'd like to ask you to take it off. Like I was, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just you can take it off later. So you're going to have one minute to describe a friend of yours. Off you go. One minute to that. Okay, right then. Three, two, one. All right then. Time is up. Okay, so um, I'd like you to describe a friend of yours to me, please. Okay. Uh, uh, do I have to say his name? If you want to. Okay. Uh, uh his name is Sang. Okay. Um, uh, he he had a uh, curly hair and uh, uh, usually wearing a uh, dark glasses and. Uh, Sometimes uh, he wearing an earring too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. and uh, he's uh, he's an expert of math and chemistry. And sometimes he make fun of me because I'm very bad at both of that subjects. But uh, um, yeah, he uh, although of that he uh, very bad at English. So uh, so I uh, yeah so I uh, like make fun of that of him like, oh, but you uh, suck at English too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, but although of that, uh, he's a very good friend and always uh, teaching me about math and chemistry. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, um, um, I think uh, I have known him like uh, for uh, for one year and uh, I meet him in the uh, first in my first uh, lesson of. Grade ten in the so, uh, um, so um, high school. Mm. Um, uh, oh, um, uh, not only he's an expert of uh, of math and chemistry, he's very good at the uh, football. And uh, I think I'm. I think I uh, will be a friend. Uh, uh, I think we will be friend for a long time because. Um, um, he's uh, he's my best friend now, and uh, uh, I can uh, I can ask him to help me with uh, the with the homework of math and chemistry. Perfect. Okay. Cool. That will do. Yeah. That's just about two minutes. So nice. Um, you can just put those down. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we're now going to um continue on to part three. So um, let's talk about maintaining a friendship. What do you what do you need to do to be a good friend? Mm, I think it's, uh, I think to be a good friend, I have to care about uh, the other the other feeling, um, and share and, and like um, share your share your happy and uh, and yourself <laughs> like. Uh, uh, share your um, uh, uh, this is kind of hard. Uh, I think I, I think uh, we have to. Uh, oh my. Problems. Yes. Okay. Um. 
What's your uh, What's your longest friendship? Like the the first friendship you ever made. How long ago was that? Uh, my first friendship I ever made is in the uh, grade two when uh, I meet and with uh, with a uh, friend named Tom. Okay. And uh, are you still friends with him? Yes, we are still friends. How often do you see each other? Like um, two or three per week. Okay, okay. So, uh, so usually on uh, FaceTime. Ah, okay, yes. so you meet online. Cool. Um, why do you think that some friendships end? Uh, because I think it's usually betrayer. Or betrayer, okay. Betrayer. And what kind of betrayal do you think? Like emotional betrayal or stealing or what? Yeah, kind of like stealing. Okay, nice. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, do you have class reunions in Vietnam? Mm, yes, but uh, but in my entire life, it's oh, just class. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, of course. Of uh, course. Just, uh, I just have a one uh, class reunion, reunion, re, reunion. Yeah. yeah, in that's a primary school reunion. Okay. And um, so, in the future, uh, would you go to a class reunion? Yes. You would. Yeah. Okay. Um, why do you think some people might not want to go to a reunion? Um, the, uh, I think uh, most most of the reasons is uh, they are they are busy for work or mm-hmm. something like that, and uh, and besides that, it maybe confirms their feeling about. Uh, about the classes because it's maybe really, really bad. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And um, last one, we'll here. Why do you think it might be interesting to meet uh, an old classmate at a reunion? Yeah, like oh, uh, it will be interesting because uh, we can share, we can share a lot of of uh, our life, uh, and. Um, and uh, it can remind us uh, a lot of good memories. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. All right, then, yeah, we'll finish up the test there. Just one second.